Now in its 24th year, the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad is the oldest and most prestigious nationwide mathematics competition among high school students. After its trial run in 1984, it was officially launched in 1986 and has been held annually since 2007. The country's contestants to the International Mathematical Olympiad are chosen from the top students who compete in the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad. The PMO is a project of the Mathematical Society of the Philippines and the Department of Science and Technology Science Education Institute. Hi, my name is Hazel Joyshi. I was a past Philippine Math Olympiad national finalist. In this video, we will be discussing the quadratic case of the Vietas formulas in solving some problems. Let r sub 1 and r sub 2 be the roots of the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So since the equation is quadratic, it means that the coefficient of x squared, which is a, is non-zero. Now, the Vietas formula states that r sub 1 plus r sub 2 is equal to negative b over a and r sub 1 times r sub 2 is equal to c over a. Now, let's go back to the quadratic equation. So, since a is non-zero, then we can safely divide both sides by a. So, you get x squared plus b over ax plus c over a is equal to zero. Now, we use the Vietas formulas to rewrite the coefficients in terms of r sub 1 and r sub 2. So, we have x squared minus the quantity r sub 1 plus r sub 2x plus r sub 1 r sub 2 is equal to 0. So, now we can make a remark that r sub 1 and r sub 2 are the roots of the equation. So, we have here the leading coefficient is 1 and then the coefficient of x is negative the sum of the roots and then the constant is the product of the roots. So now, let us proceed with solving some problems. Let's start with the 13 PMO qualifying stage. Part 1, number 1. What is the sum of the roots of x squared minus 2009x minus 2010 is equal to 0? Letter A, 2010. Letter B, 2009. Letter C, 2011, or letter D, negative 2010. So now we let r sub 1 and r sub 2 as the roots of x squared minus 2009x minus 2010 is equal to 0. Then, r sub 1 plus r sub 2 is equal to, so the negative of the quotient of, so our coefficient of x is negative 2009, so we divide it by the leading coefficient which is 1. So we have 2009. And so the answer here is letter B, 2009. Now, let's look at the product from the Vietas formulas. From the 14 PMO qualifying stage, Part 1, number 1, let P and Q be the roots of 2x squared minus 5x plus 1 is equal to 0. Find the value of log P to the base 2 plus log Q to the base 2. So now from the Vietas formula, so we know that PQ is equal to 1 half. Now let us look at the expression. So, since we have here two logarithms of the same base, then we can combine them together wherein um, the power will become the product of the powers. So, we have log PQ to the base 2. So, we already know PQ, so let us plug in. So, we have log 1 half to the base 2, which is equal to negative 1. So, the answer is letter D, negative 1. Now, let us move on to the 28 PMO qualifying stage. So, from part 1, number 5, let R and S be the roots of the polynomial 3x squared minus 4x plus 2. Which of the following is a polynomial with roots R over S and S over R? So now, um, what we're going to do, we will be using the remark. And because of this, 
we want to get um, the sum and the product of the new roots. So, but first, let us use the Vietas formula in getting the sum and the product of Rs. So, R plus S is equal to, so negative of um, negative 4 divided by 3, and then the product Rs is equal to 2 divided by 3. So now, we will be using this to solve the sum and the product of R over S and S over R. So let's look at the sum, and then let's combine it in one fraction. So you get R squared plus S squared all over Rs. So now, our goal here is to rewrite this expression so that it would be just dependent on R plus S and Rs. So the denominator is okay already since it's already in terms of the product of R and S, but R squared plus S squared is still in that, not that form. So what we're going to do we will be adding and subtracting the same term so that we can rewrite the expression in terms of a square. So, we combine 2rs with r squared plus s squared. So, you get r plus s quantity squared and then you just keep um, minus 2rs and then all over rs. So now, our expression is already in terms of the sum and the product of R and S. So now we can just easily plug them in. And then just simplify. So to get 5 over 3. And then now let us look at the product R over S times S over R. So S and R just cancels out. So you end up with a 1. So based on the remark... R over S and S over R are the roots of x squared minus 5 over 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. So now, all of the given in the multiple choice are of integral coefficients. So, so let us multiply the expression with the LCD which is equal to 3. So you end up with 3x squared minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. So you see already that um, the answer should be equal to 3x squared minus 2x plus 3. So the answer is letter C. 3x squared minus 2x plus 3. Vieta's formulas is very helpful in solving expressions involving the roots without actually solving the roots. No? So, we can appreciate it through the succeeding problems. So, from 11 PMO qualifying stage, part 2, number 16, the roots of the quadratic equation x squared minus 51x plus k is equal to 0 differ by 75, where k is a real number. That will be the sum of the squares of the roots. Okay, so from here, let us use the Vieta's formulas. Let r sub 1 and r sub 2 be the roots of x squared minus 51x plus k is equal to 0. So r sub 1 plus r sub 2 is equal to 51. Okay, so and then let us rewrite um, the another given from the problem. So it says here that the roots differ by 75. So we can write it as the absolute value of R sub 1 minus R sub 2 is equal to 75. So now we want to get the sum of the squares of the roots. So in terms of R sub 1 and R, R, R sub 2, so that's R sub 1 squared plus R sub 2 squared. All right. And then what we're going to do is um, we will be multiplying and dividing this by 2. So you have 2r sub 1 squared plus 2r sub 2 squared all over 2. And then we want to write this expression in terms of this 2 given. No? So we will be um, 
introducing 2 or sub 1 or sub 2, so we add and subtract it. And then, we will be using them to complete um, the squares. No? R sub 1 plus R sub 2, quantity squared. R sub 1 minus R sub 2, quantity squared. Yeah. So, now we can plug them in. So, R sub 1 plus R sub 2 is just 51. And then, notice that um, our expression involves absolute value. But since you're going to square it, then you can just omit the absolute value because when you square a number, it would always be a positive number. So, so you get 75 squared. No? So, and then just simplify, so you end up with 4,113. So, the answer here is letter C, 4,113. All right, and then next, from the 12 PMO qualifying stage, part 1, number 5, let R and S be the roots of the equation x squared minus 2mx minus 3 is equal to 0. If R plus uh, the reciprocal of S and S plus the reciprocal of R are the roots of the equation x squared plus px minus 2q is equal to 0, what is q? So now, let us use the Vieta's formula. So you know that Rs is equal to negative 3 So from the first equation. So now, let us look at the product of this. So R plus S inverse multiplied by the quantity S plus the reciprocal of R is equal to negative 2Q. So, this is following the Vieta's formulas for this equation. So, now in the left-hand side, let us do the FOIL method. So, you get Rs plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 over Rs is equal to negative 2Q. So, we can plug in Rs is equal to negative 3 on the left-hand side. So, you get negative 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus negative 1 third is equal to negative 2q. So you can just easily simplify the left hand side. So you get negative 4 thirds is equal to negative 2q. So you get q is equal to 2 thirds. So the answer for this item is letter B, 2 thirds. And then now for the last item, from the 19th PMO qualifying stage, part 1, number 4, suppose that r sub 1 and r sub 2 are the roots of the equation 4x squared minus 3x minus 7 is equal to 0. What is the sum of the squares of the reciprocals of r sub 1 and r sub 2? So first, let us use the Vieta's formula again for this equation. So you have r sub 1 plus r sub 2 is equal to 3 fourths. And r sub 1, r sub 2 is equal to negative 7 fourths. So now, so what is the expression that we want? Sum of the squares of the reciprocals of r sub 1 and r sub 2, so which is 1 over r sub 1 squared plus 1 over r sub 2 squared. So we want to rewrite this expression in terms of the sum and the product of r sub 1 and r sub 2. Let us combine them in one fraction. So you get r sub 1 squared plus r sub 2 squared all over r sub 1 squared r sub 2 squared. So the denominator is already okay. So we just need to rewrite the numerator. So let us introduce 2 r sub 1 r sub 2. And then we combine 2 r sub 1 r sub 2 to the squares. So you end up with r sub 1 plus r sub 2 quantity squared. And then you are left with negative 2 r sub 1 r sub 2 all over r sub 1 r sub 2 quantity squared. So now, substitute r sub 1 plus r sub 2 and r sub 1 r sub 2. Yeah. And then just simplify. So you end up with 65 over 49. So the answer is letter C, 65 over 49. So this ends my video. Thank you for watching. 
The Mathematical Society of the Philippines is the country's premier professional organization dedicated to the promotion of mathematics research and education in the country. Founded in 1973, it has grown from a small Manila-based group of math educators to a nationwide network of individuals with chapters all over the country. The Philippine Mathematical Olympiad is organized by the Mathematical Society of the Philippines in partnership with the Department of Science and Technology Science Education Institute. The 24th PMO will be held online in two stages, the qualifying stage in February 2022 and the national stage in March 2022. The start of the registration is January 2022. More details are in our Facebook page and also in our webpage, pmo.ph.